qualitative research, uh, the fourth type of qualitative research is grounded theory. Grounded theory is one of the more popular types of qualitative research. Uh, but let me tell you, grounded theory is a type of theory, type of qualitative research, right? That is very challenging to carry out. But it's very, very, very powerful. Um, grounded theory aims to produce uh, a type of research uh, that leads to theory formation or theory expansion uh, through constant comparison. In fact, that is the, the essence of grounded theory, uh, this uh, com uh, the comparison, the constant comparison. Uh, it is uh, a method that uses data that's grounded in all kinds of data from the study and through iterative comparison, comparison between data and data, yeah. Uh, data and concept, uh, data, concepts and concepts, and eventually uh, building towards uh, a theory, uh, aiming to move from describing to theorizing, often leading to answering the why question. So, so grounded theory is a powerful theory in the sense that it, it, it gives you the tools, it gives you the, uh, the, the method uh, to build theory from data, data, primary data that is coming from uh, your own research, right? And the strength of uh, grounded theory is that it, it is a type of theory building that uh, l looks at data, uh, combining, comparing with different data, and, and by comparing the data, certain concepts will emerge and and then you keep on collecting new data to confirm the concepts that you have uh, and then uh, and you might have different concepts emerging from the data uh, and then you compare the concepts and eventually you'll see uh, that there is some commonalities you have some dominant concepts you have some uh, certain properties of the concepts and then in, from that process right that's grounded on the data you describe you come up with descriptions that eventually leads to a type of uh, new theorizing about a particular research question or research objective and often as and uh, that, like the description there leading towards answering the why question so so example let's take this uh, the picture the picture we have there right the gay Russian neo-Nazi, <laughs> right? Uh, the the gay the the, the gay Russian neo-Nazis. Right? Uh, the question you can ask is, how do people become neo-Nazis? Right? How do gays become Nazis? Or you can ask, how do neo-Nazis become gays? Right? Those are different questions. Those are different questions, eh? Or how do Russians become gay neo-Nazis? Right? Uh, uh, and you may even uh, you know, this this phenomenon, this identity of gay Russian neo Nazis, it is a, possibly an embarrassment to the gays and to the neo Nazis, right? <laughs> and pro probably also to uh, uh, Vladimir Putin also might get embarrassed by this phenomenon, right? If there is such a phenomenon, so uh, you can look at identity formation uh, uh, as a research. Um, question right uh, as a research objective and use grounded theory to understand to 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 carry out um, uh, data collection to build concepts and eventually formulate a theory of why uh, people become neo nazis or why gays become neo nazis or why neo nazis become gays or why russians become uh, gay neo nazis uh, these are different set of questions Right? But uh, these are all answering the why question. And that is what grounded theory is. Uh, that is the theory. Uh, uh, it, is, it, is a, it, is, it is a research methodology, right? Uh, it, it comes from the, the, the whole philosophy of... Um, uh, it's coming from the field of sociology, right? But this, the philosophy is using data, using data 
that is coming from your research uh, that's not coming from other theories, right? Uh, it's 